80,000 tons of... Secondary, big time. These aircraft carried out attack, reconnaissance, and fighter missions, just like their land-based brethren. They were perfectly capable of operating from land or from sea. We're talking about a miniature air force. One U.S. carrier's air complement is the equivalent to most of the nations in the world's air forces. Our missions tend to be very long, four and a half to five hours. Brief normally takes place about three hours prior to takeoff. Man your airplane up an hour prior to your launch time. Once we take off, we uh, end up going feet dry, proceeding about 380 miles over a uh, desert where you have no reference, no towns, no tack hands. So you're basically trusting the systems in your airplane, your own gut feeling. The F-18 uh, provides us a unique opportunity to fill uh, several roles. Uh, we are primarily carrying uh, ordnance across uh, into Iraq to uh, military targets. The bomb damage assessment that we've brought back from, uh, from our strikes uh, indicate that the airplane is truly accurate from the line of Japanese naval superiority. The Nimitz class carriers are the largest warships in the world. At a cost of $4.5 billion each, today there are seven operational and two under construction. Aircraft carriers will return on Modern Marvels then and now. In the vast Pacific Ocean, the Americans and the Japanese needed more than land bases to launch aircraft. Basically, the aircraft carriers... And Recognizing the need for larger, safer runways, the United States developed a more advanced carrier design. By the end of 1942, the new Essex class of U.S. carrier was ready for action. A catapult and pressurized air was released. It transmitted its pressure to hydraulic fluid. It was then released, driving the pulleys and the aircraft forward. During the Second World War, the United Kingdom in particular was being strangled by the use of German submarines against the merchant convoys crossing the Atlantic. The range of land-based aircraft at that time was limited. Escort carriers, carrying only a limited number of aircraft, both for air defense and uh, as anti-submarine weapon systems, were probably a key feature in the Battle of the Atlantic, in the battle against the... While Britain was cutting down on the size of her carriers, America was again making them larger and more powerful. As carrier development continued to progress, naval aviators soon found themselves fighting another war, this time in Southeast Asia. From the very beginning of America's involvement in Vietnam, the aircraft carrier was an important platform. It provided a mobile airfield, which enabled strikes to be mounted against targets in North Vietnam like Hanoi and Haiphong, without having to use bases in the South, which were vulnerable to terrorist... I forget missile. It can be locked on either from an E-2, which is the, uh, the Hawkeye, which is the eyes and ears of an aircraft carrier. The E-2C Hawkeye Airborne Early Warning Aircraft has an advanced radar that is capable of detecting airborne threats hundreds of miles away. The E-2C can track more than 250 targets simultaneously. The EA-6B was one of the most effective, if not the most effective, aircraft uh, during Desert Storm because it so effectively could... Live, April 14th at 9, only on the History Channel.